What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 video. Today, we're gonna check out this insane Batman inspired free flow combat system that you can use in your Unreal games. With that said, let's get started. All right, so as you can see, we have this insane combat system out of a Batman game, okay? So this is known as a free flow combat system that is used in games like Batman and Spider-Man. And as you can see, it looks absolutely insane. It uses very smooth animations and motion warping to achieve a really cool effect, as you can see, right? We also have insane finishers that look straight out of a film, <laughs> as you can see. And we can go ahead and also, you know, kind of have a little um, counter attack and boom, slam them to the floor, which looks amazing. We also have these boxes that we can go ahead and throw into enemies, which looks insane. And yeah, overall, a really cool, you know, Batman inspired gameplay. So the creator hit me up and said, hey, you want to try out this free flow combat system that I created? I said, say less, this looks insane. I have to make a video on it. So if you go to the free flow combat system folder, we have a whole bunch of different folders with all the assets built in this game. Now, the important thing are the animations because they're really, really insane. If you go to the names and for example, open up, you know, the finishers and this and then montage, you can see how detailed they are, okay? Now, the main thing about this project is that all of the animations are built using animation montages, okay? Now, what are animation montages? Well, they're these tracks over here, okay? So basically, name montages is just a piece of code that executes in an anime montage from one frame to another, okay? Now, let me go ahead and open up another animation that we can show this better. So let's go to strikes, unarmed, long range, front, and open up the first one, okay? So as you can see, first of all, we have this notify, which defines the hit detection window, okay? So in what frames will our character deal damage, okay? As you can see, it goes from frame 16 to 26, so it's basically of this time. Now, if we go ahead and expand all their info, we can go ahead and select our cool stuff, which is, you know, what part of the body will do the trace, right? To detect the enemy, in this case, it's the right arm. So that's what we do. We can detect this radius, make it bigger. We go ahead and check out the damage info, how much damage does, the damage response for the enemy. Basically a whole bunch of stuff, okay? Now, all these traces are done, as you can see, through sockets, right? So sockets are just positions in our character's skeleton and essentially it creates a really, really accurate damage system because only the arm is what will detect, okay, an enemy and deal damage into it, right? So enemies will be super satisfying to hit with the system. It's super accurate and super cool, okay? Many AAA games use this approach. Now, if we go also to, for example, the uh, anim trail, so you can see we have press play, we have a really cool effect and you can use this anim trail for literally any attack that you want for your game. Okay, it looks super cool. It can be cartoony, it can be more realistic. It doesn't matter, you can really customize it. And last but not least, in our montage, we have also a rotate camera towards target um, and notify. This basically aligns the camera to look at the target, so to the enemy that we're gonna attack. This is essential, because in Batman games and in Spider-Man game, uh, Spider games, you basically pretty much don't use your right joystick on your gamepad when fighting. This because you 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 know uh, use the direction with the left one, and it automatically goes to where the character will attack the next enemy, which is super cool. Now I want to mention that the creator used Batman and Spider-Man techniques for their free flow combat. Okay, so this combat system is top top because it uses literally things that were used in Batman and Spider-Man. Okay which is really cool now going back into our systems let's go into the blueprints and open up one of the most important things apart from the animations which are the data assets okay so all the attacks are created through data assets okay data assets are just a way to create let's say um customizable pieces of code okay so you create a base data asset and then the child um data assets will have simply just the parameters filled in and it's super easy for you to use the system to customize and add new animations and the text right so if we go to strikes and we go to long range controllers and then front as you can see we have this data assets which include the animation 
the direction relative to the master for the enemy, so the from the front, the distance offset, a whole bunch of stuff you can customize, create new ones. It's crazy, okay? And not only that, but already the, the freaking, you know, game comes with, you know, insane amounts of um, data assets by default. So you pretty much don't even have to touch this, but if you want, well, it's going to be very easy, right? Which is very important. Now, let's go ahead and take a look about the blueprints itself, right? How this is built, because it's very easy. If I open up my player blueprint, as you can see, we only have one component. Well, in this case, two, right? But the motion warping is uh, separate from this. So let's go ahead and just open up the free flow combat. Now, this component out here is the one in charge of everything, right? So I want to mention that, yes, it is complex. The whole There's a whole bunch of stuff. But actually, you don't even need to open this up because as you can see, the creator made it very easy for you to just introduce new, you know, attacks and everything. You literally just get the component and call the car recording attack. So a strike, counter, finisher, and connect that to the input. I mean, <laughs> it is literally crazy. The only thing you need to do is just add this uh, three little nodes to the begin play. Okay, so literally you can just copy and paste this component into any player, into any enemy, or whatever and it will just work of course you need to adapt it with the inputs or whatever with little things but i mean it's super easy okay so i want to make sure that's clear now last but not least the whole match okay or the whole combat scene is organized by this melee combat manager okay once again this is one of the tricks that were used in the actual batman and spider-man games for the free flow combat where we have a combat manager in charge of a couple of things. So first of all, it's the attack target, okay? This is the target for the enemies, okay? So where will the enemies attack? Now, in this case, when it's set to none, that means just the player. But if I were to, you know, pick up this uh, enemy over here and press play, as you can see, all the enemies will go to attack him, right? So by none, you can just leave it to the player. Now we have this next value, which is very important, okay? The combat intensity. Now, this is another technique taken from these games where the combat right what time will get harder okay so every time an enemy hits you you essentially increase this intensity um combat intensity by this value in this case let's put in two now once this value increases uh and reaches this threshold of 10 well we will choose a random okay value between these two which is how many attackers how many enemies will go to attack you at the same time, which essentially just results in a really cool gameplay scenario because the more you get hit, the harder it gets and more enemies start to attack you at once. Okay, super, super cool. You see that in the level in a second, but I mean, we can also set this by default, okay, with this value to like five. And as you can see, boom, in the level, five people come to attack me. And that's pretty much it. I will link the link in the description so you can check out the asset on fab literally like i mentioned the creator just hit me up and say hey you want to try this combat asset um, and make a video on it i said man this looks insane i definitely want to try this out and yeah here we are <laughs> i want to share you guys with this because i mean a lot of people always ask me to create you know a free flow combat system and now it's easier than ever so that's it guys found this video helpful i would really appreciate it if you like video and subscribe to my channel join my room club if you're serious about learning on 25 and now yes close it bye bye